Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for joining us on today. We just wanted to take a little time just to say Merry Christmas. I am Portia Wheatley. I am the founder and the president of a nonprofit organization acknowledged as Trophy of Life Incorporated, where we have the great opportunity we have the privilege, we have the God assignment to render hope, encouragement, and inspiration to you, our audience, across the world. We do that across the world. The Lord has allowed us that opportunity and that privilege to do it. So he's allowed us to do it, so we're going to do it. Well, you already know, today is Christmas. Today is Christmas. And I am so glad that we know the reason for the season. You've heard that many times. I don't care how old you are or how young you are. You've heard that many times. You have to know the reason for the season. And Jesus Christ, he is the reason for this season, which people celebrate as Christmas. Well, we celebrate Jesus Christ every day, every day of the year, every day of our lives. And we want you to know that he loves you so very much. Uh, so much so, he is who he is. When you want him to be, he is who he is. Even when you don't, when we're good, <laughs> when we're bad, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why, because Jesus sees you. Jesus hears you. Jesus is the ultimate reason for the season. We don't have a lot to share today because we wanted you to have time with your family. A lot of people come around uh, the holidays for good food, good eating. I don't know what's on your menu on today, but please don't overindulge now. Don't overindulge. I know you can't wait till you get mom's macaroni and cheese. You can't wait till you get mom's greens, whether it's collard greens, kale greens, sweet potatoes, what is ham, uh, the homemade pound cakes, the homemade sweet potato cakes, I mean cakes. Oh yeah, they do them too. Sweet potato cakes and sweet potato pies, um, lemon meringue pie, apple pie, white potato pie. I know the young people never heard of that, white potato pie. What's that? What else is on the menu? Some people mash, mashed potatoes, not on mine. Anyway. Whatever it is that's going to be on your menu, please enjoy and enjoy it with family. Gather around the family table and begin a, uh, if you don't have a tradition, start a tradition. Share the love of your heart, the love of Jesus Christ, the love of the family. Share it with one another. Talk to each other. Communicate with each other. If you've not call someone in your family that you know you really need to call. This is the season of sharing love. And I pray that you pick up the phone and call them. You don't have to have a long conversation, but let them know that you are sharing the love of Christmas, the love of Jesus Christ, the love that you're going to start because there was not love before. You can do this. I believe that you can do this. Where there was no love, you be the person that will start a trail of love, a legacy of love. Believe me, when these toys are gone, when these gifts are gone, what do you have to possess? What do you possess? And when you have love, no one can take love from you. The enemy may come and try to um, throw some type of dart into your, uh, your consciousness of being love or loving someone else or the opportunity to love. But come on, when we call on Jesus, who is the ultimate reason for the season, yeah, he, he was a baby born. 
but he had all of what he needed in him. So I say again, you know, the um, spirit of Christmas is giving, loving, caring, and we can do that. When we ask Jesus to allow us to do it, we can do that. Family members that may not feel loved, there's love there. And you have to really find it. And really, when you love yourself, that's still an expression of Jesus Christ himself. In this season of giving, receiving, and loving, and caring. It's here. It's there. It's in you, whether you know it or not. Just pull on it. It is in you. And I want to give a special, special shout out to my my, my sister's family who passed away earlier this year, matter of fact, uh, before Thanksgiving, every one of her seven, ch seven children, I want you to know I love you. And this is your first Christmas without Shirley, but just know her spirit is there because you're gathering together and her spirit of love is there with you, the Stanley family. We love you. We definitely love you. And anyone else that may not have family members with you this year, mm. family members with you this year that were there last year, still just think of some warm memories. Think of some things that made you laugh. The relationship that you have with that individual, think of some things that made you laugh and bring that warm feeling back. It can happen. It can happen. I also want to give a shout out to every single widow and widower. If you're alone this holiday, just know other widows and widowers are thinking about you as well. And we love you. Even while I'm on that note, don't forget tomorrow night, Sunday night at 7 p.m., we have real talk for widows and widowers. Wear your hat, wear your um, Christmas attire. You wear pajamas for as, as long as you wear something. Just wear something. Don't, don't come on my Zoom with no clothes on. That's too much. That's too much. That's not giving. That's Anywho, this is going to be a wonderful gathering of widows and widowers. It's real talk. You, you think it, we talk about it. And we talk about it in a very respectable way. Okay, and that is at 7 p.m. Inbox me for the link. Only widows and widowers. Everybody else, bump it. You can't come. But this is for widows and widowers. And please share the word. We don't want them to be alone during Christmas. Or lonely, rather. But we want to have fun. And don't forget, bring your favorite drink. Yes, I said drink, bring your favorite drink. Could be water, wine. Kool-Aid, milk, milk, um, tea. I'm not going anywhere else with it. Anyway, you bring what you want to bring, but we're going to do that. We're going to come together. People from California, New York, um, the UK, um, Pennsylvania. We have widows and widowers coming from different states that are going to come together and we're just going to have a real talk on the day after Christmas, which is tomorrow, December the what? Tomorrow is the 26th. Oh, it's going to be tomorrow, tomorrow, December the 26th at 7 p.m. So don't forget, either email me at the journey to live, laugh, love again at gmail.com or inbox me. I'll make sure you get the link. All right. Well, get back to your gifts and your presence and your sharing of the love. Um, what else are you doing today? Watching football, cooking, all of that. Whatever you're doing, enjoy yourself. Share the love, share peace, joy, and happiness. God bless you until we see you again on tomorrow. Bye-bye.